Temple Basketball Above the Rim is brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Previously on Temple Basketball Above the Rim, the Owls upset the number five team in the nation, the Duke Blue Devils at the Wells Fargo Center in front of a sold out crowd. This is Wyatt on the wing. Jack's another one. Ha! It has the feel of an upset in Philly. Temple returned home to the Leah Cora Center to begin play within a deep Atlantic 10 conference, a conference the team is looking to win once again. The Temple Owls season has continued at a frantic pace. Go. Go. The team stands at 11 and five following its win over Duke, but a tough one and two start in conference play. Head coach Fran Dunphy and his veteran team is aware that the Atlantic 10 is as strong as it's been in years. A conference in which any team can win on any given night. Go, 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 nice and low, nice and low, go, go, here you go Mike. Coach Dunphy has made it clear that at least six teams can realistically win the conference. And the Owls' next opponent, a crosstown rival to the Cherry and White, is no exception. The LaSalle Explorers have made steady improvements each of the last three years. And now the young team whose campus is just 4.8 miles north of Temple University is having one of its best seasons in recent years. Whenever a rival school is just a 15-minute drive away, that familiarity spawns natural competitiveness for city supremacy. Hey, welcome to Temple Basketball. Tonight, the Temple Owls host the Explorers from LaSalle University. This is probably going to be as good a matchup in the backcourt as we've seen all year. We're underway for the Leah Chorus Center, and the Owls control the opening tip with Fernandez. Juan still on the dribble, crosses over, left of the lane, turns, spins, shoots, and scores. Fernandez has all five of Temple's points, and it's a two-point LaSalle lead. Ramon Galloway puts it on the floor, guarded by DeLeo, down the lane, reach around pass, up for the layup is Tyreek Doran, and it's good. Good feed and assist. Doran has it, streaks into the front court. Cut off on the left side by Fernandez. Now, hesitation dribble, leaves it back. Zach, blocked by Fernandez. I don't know how he did it, but he did. He gave up six inches. Aaron Brown for three, good! 57-48 Temples. Here's Galloway down the lane over Anthony Lee. Lays it off the window and in. Up at the top, Hollis Jefferson to Brown. Tries to answer and does. Aaron Brown with a three. Ramon double teamed. Aaron Brown along the baseline. They skip it out the wide. Open Fernandez drives the baseline. 12 foot runners good. Wyatt's assist. 10 points for Fernandez. The lead is back up to three for Temple. Here's Pettis between the circle. Starts to his left. Lays it off down low to right for a slam dunk. It's a three-point Temple lead. Now back to Wyatt. Skips a pass to Moore. Six on the clock. Ramon in the lane. Hollis Jefferson's jumper. Good! A huge jump shot by Hollis Jefferson. And the Owls have come away with a 76-70 win over the LaSalle Explorers. With the Owls' 8-10 record evened up at 2-2, two two, Temple turns its attention to the final regular season game against a non-conference team. Though it's been an unusually mild winter in Philadelphia, Saturday morning finds a little bit of snow on the ground. But it's hardly enough white to keep fans from traveling 12 minutes away from Temple's main campus to the historic palestra on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania. It's here the Owls take on the 12-5 Maryland Terrapins for an atypical 11 a.m. tip-off in one of the loudest, most intimate settings in all of college basketball.
The sold-out Palestra crowd came to see two teams on quite a roll. Maryland has won nine of its last 11 games, while the Owls have gone 10-3 and three against teams outside of its conference, including huge wins over Wichita State, Villanova, and Duke. For the Palestra, good morning. Temple basketball, the Owls against the Maryland Terrapins, and the tip controlled by the Terrapins underway from the fabled Palestra. Howard, stagger dribble in the lane, the runner is good. He's shot Howard, a 6'3 guard out of Oak Hill Academy. Hollis Jefferson, left wing. Now Fernandez is open for Trey. It's good. And the streak continues with threes. Fernandez drives along the baseline, hands it off down low. Anthony Lee for the layup. It's good. Eight minutes into the game, the Owls lead Maryland by just two points. At a stoppage of play, Temple, who has been riddled by injuries all season long, gets a huge lift from someone who hasn't stepped on the court for nearly two months. And look who's coming on, much to the delight of Temple fans for the first time since Puerto Rico. The senior Michael Eric takes off the warm-ups, and boy, this is a big moment for Michael Eric. Though Michael Eric may not have piled up numbers on the stat sheet, the impact of his return is immeasurable for the Owls program. Halftime at the Palestra. Temple 32 and Maryland 29. The second half is underway. Relier back to Wyatt for a three. It's good. Padgett working inside. Missed, but there's a putback and a slam dunk by Sean Mosley. Here come the Terps, down by three. In the lane, the pull-up jumper is good by Terrell Stoglin, and it's a one-point lead. Maryland's come from 12 down to trail 55-54 with eight minutes left. Goes to Fernandez on the right wing, right sideline. Moore will try a deep three, and it's good. Oh, my, Ramon Moore with 18. All right, the Owls inbound. They have nine on the clock. Here's a feed. The Moore in the lane, and he makes the runner. Assist by Wyatt. Moore's got 20. And this is all gravy train time, folks. Final score at the Palestra. Temple 73 and Maryland 60. Without Mike, uh, I had to play the four man and get more rebounds and stuff like that. But uh, now that Mike's back, just his presence alone helps us offensively and defensively especially defensively, getting rebounds and stuff. I think we really needed that one more post presence, uh, the physicality that Mike brings to the game, and uh, definitely uh, his rebounding and uh, on the defensive end, too. But I think he adds some interior presence for us. Uh, Ant Lee's done a wonderful job with what we've asked him to do, but having Mike and that experience that he's had over the, his last four and a half years, uh, as long as he's been here, and he knows what we, we expect of him. You're here, he's coming. He's coming to set the screen. You you can stay, because Jim's forcing him up top. If he comes baseline, you're getting in his way, and then you can recover, okay? All right, let's go. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better, honest. There's a place where basketball still means something, where the game is all that matters. In this place, we take care of our own. Because we know we can't survive without each other. Here, work ethic has swagger. Here, reputation is earned, and false pretense has its throat cut. Under all, are you from here? With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. In the Paint is brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. Up, up, up. Drop, drop, two, three, match up. Match up, match up, match up. Find a guy. 
I said good, good, just contain. Drop, 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 match up, match up, match up, Pep. Match up, good. Shot. Hey, Mike, he gets the ball on the baseline here, and you, you, first of all, you're too upright. You're playing here, and you got no space in between. You, you're not giving any space so you can, you can beat him to a spot. You're staying straight up, and you're close to him. If you're low, and you got an arm length away, now you can beat him to the baseline. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Look, look at the post, look at the post. Dribble drive here, dribble drive. Same thing I just told him, man. I just told him you can't hug this guy. He's got his back to you. You gotta be arm length away. The dump, Mike comes, now I'm beating him to this spot because I know this is the only way he can go because Mike taking away the high side. All right, on the ball defense, you gotta be tough. As the closer he gets to the basket, the tougher you gotta be. Typically on green side, you got dribble handoff there first to initiate it. And these guys are really aggressive coming off of these exchanges. So even the dribble handoff, if he can turn that corner and get in the gap, he's trying to. Jim, you're going to find him, and you're going to pop out, OK? And he's, you're giving him space to operate. Dog, you come off the screen, you're trying to get into a gap. You got a guy on the baseline you can lob it up to or drop it off to. You'll have a guy spotting up on the wing that you can drop, you can kick it out to, OK? okay. Ah, turn over there, Ant. You got to, got to have some poise. You got to have some poise. They tipped it. We get, they got to turn over. Let's go, be ready, be ready, Nick. Nice and low. Help him. That's you, Nick. That's your, that's your responsibility. They double, you gotta zone up. You gotta take both Rod Lear and you gotta take the cutter, who was Ant Lee. Try to turn the corner here, Pop. Try to turn the corner, get in the, into the gap. Remember, we're trying to get under quickly because he's not gonna step behind that screen and shoot a jump shot. Nick, you gotta get your shooter. You gotta anticipate here so you can catch and shoot. Make them pay if they're not ready for you. And the paint has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. A student athlete learns a lot more than good techniques on the court. Sports teaches many things, one of which is discipline, a trait that redshirt junior guard TJ DeLeo has shown during his time at Temple. Friday is a big day for DeLeo but not for something on the court. Today he graduates with his degree in marketing, something he achieved in just three and a half years. Welcome to the joint graduation ceremony of Temple University's Fox School of Business. The Leah Kaur Center is usually the host to athletic competition, but today it's been transformed into a place of celebration for achievements in the classroom. Anthony DeLeo. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Achievements that for DeLeo will continue as he begins to pursue his master's degree. Congratulations, Dave. I love you so much. Love you too. We, we are it, so huh? proud. Yeah. Go, right? Finally. We're very appreciative of Temple University, both on and off the court, what they've done for TJ, uh, you know, academically, scholastically, and athletically. I think Coach Dunphy and his coaching staff, they do a great job of molding these players when they come in. and and they graduate as fine young people, and uh, that takes them through life. And that's, for me, that's more important than uh, the basketball that they learn on the court is, is how they turn out as people. I love you. I love you. Meanwhile, as DeLeo spent his afternoon tossing his mortarboard off his head, senior center Michael Eric, who has already graduated himself, heads to the barber shop to take a little off his own head in preparation for tomorrow's game against St. Joe's. I think. The reason why I got the high top fade was it was a it was a deer from Lavoy first time and he's like I, I dare you to get a high top fade. I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, that looks good. Then I was playing well and then ever since then I actually like, oh you know what? I'll just I'll just have it on my head. This season, Eric has sported a high top fade. Homage to Hall of Fame center Patrick Ewing, who wore the same haircut when he dominated the NBA in the 90s. This is one of Eric's bi-weekly trips to the barber, trips he uses to keep the cut growing in shape. Um, we're on Sister Beemore, 16 and Sister Beemore right now, trying to get a fresh haircut, I guess. I come here almost every two weeks. Sometimes I, I leave it like three weeks max. I just think it's a, it fits me at, the point, at this point in my career in college basketball, but I'm not, I might cut it tomorrow, you never know. But uh, when I get on the court, I have a more intimidating look with the hair, but uh, ended up coming out pretty nice the first time I got it, so yeah, I just stuck with it. it makes me seven foot now. <laughs> As Friday comes to an end, it's time to focus on yet another city rival that the Owls take on in less than 24 hours, the St. Joe's Hawks. 
St. Joe's is another school in very close proximity to the Owls. The Hawks play just less than six miles from the Leacour Center, and the Owls' recent dominance of the City Series has contributed to the uneasy relationship between Temple and St. Joe's fans. Temple has won its last nine games against the Hawks, but much like LaSalle, St. Joe's is another vastly improved team, and one the Owls are not taking lightly. Probably one of the biggest games in the city that we play every year uh, in front of a sold out crowd. So just the preparation and paying attention to detail on uh, defensively and how to stop them and how to score. That game is always going to be a game you look forward to. Uh, most, more times than not, it's going to be a very close game. Everybody plays with an extra chip on their shoulder for that game. You know it's going to be a packed crowd and uh, just you really, you really want to get that game. And to get nine in a row, I think it's very, a gr very great accomplishment for us. This Saturday afternoon isn't significant just because of its importance for the A-10 standings. This is Coaches vs. Cancer Weekend, a cause very important to both Fran Dunphy and St. Joe's head coach, Phil Martelli. Today, the coaches wear their suits with sneakers, in acknowledgement of all of those who suffer from cancer. Since the Philadelphia Coaches vs. Cancer program began in 1996, it has raised nearly $5 million in the fight against the terrible disease. This afternoon, it's the Owls against the Hawks of St. Joseph's University. Scagliata will throw it up. It's controlled by the Hawks. Glenja Kajarnas from the Leacorus Center. Jones, two on three break down the lane, and Aiken has a slam dunk, and we're tied at four. Wilson gets it down low again. Here is Roberts up with a jump hook. It's good. And it's a 7-6 Temple lead. Wyatt gives up some space, but he poked it away. Eric comes away with it to Moore. Moore drives one defender back right by Carl Jones for the layup. Ramon Moore would not be denied, and the Owls have opened up an 11-point lead. The first half of this game is controlled by Temple. More specifically, it's controlled by Temple seniors. Now we'll pull up for a three, and it's it. Guards Ramon Moore and Juan Fernandez scored the Owls' first 14 points and 32 of the team's 38 total points in the first half. The Owls take a commanding 14-point lead into the halftime locker room, and on this day, no halftime adjustment could get the Hawks back in the game. Sideline on the block, Michael Eric spins on Aiken, and oh, a slam dunk! Big fella, big, big fella! The big ball's back! Making it happen on the shot blocker. Temple has made it 10 straight. Over St. Joe's, final score, Temple 78, St. Joe's 60. Fieldhouse Sports Bar Center City is the official Game Watch headquarters of Temple Isles Basketball. Stop in for specials during all Temple Isles basketball games. When you combine a whole new look with over 40 years of experience, what do you get? Glansman Subaru in Jenkintown. Now that we're totally remodeled, we're going even further to exceed your expectations. And with our no-pressure sales staff, free loaner cars, and extended service hours, every trip to Glansman Subaru is made easy and convenient. So no matter what time the game is over, check us out at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. The Temple basketball program has experienced growth over the last few years. The newest piece to the Owls puzzle is a brand new practice facility in the newly renovated Pearson and McGonagall Halls. Construction on the athletic facility has been continuous for more than a year. And though finishing touches are still being made, the Owls have moved in and are practicing on their new court. It's really, you're really excited to go to every practice because it's just 
being in a great facility, like equal to some of the top programs in the country have. Now everybody look always excited to go to Pearson. It's an older gym, but now that it's new, everybody excited. Just like anything that you get new, you're excited to play on it and uh, just be out there. I'm just excited about what's gonna bring to the te Temple Institution and the family. It's gonna, you know, make Temple look like a highly profile Division One athletic program. Unlike the Leah Cora Center, the new practice facility is almost always open to the players and it's getting its use at all times of the day and night. The other night, me and Mo was in there till like three in the morning on Sunday. So it's definitely something you can go to. I mean, here, sometimes they got events. So now that it's just for us, we can go in whenever we want. It's just convenient, you know, you can go in there whenever you want to get a shot, you know, work on your game. You can go in there whenever. It's a great opportunity for our guys to work on their, their game with no distractions. Uh, they can get in the gym almost any time they want to. Uh, we can work them out anytime that uh, it's, a, we're, it's available to us. The new facility is where they prepare for their next A-10 opponent, the Fordham Rams. With a 4-2 record in the A-10, the Owls need this game to solidify its position with the leaders of the conference. Almost midway through the season in the Atlantic 10 schedule. We're underway as the Owls control it to McMillan. He'll fire a shot. It's long right into the hands of Anthony Lee. Quick outlet, Wyatt. Against the numbers, he'll pull up for the long-range three-pointer. It's good. So Wyatt has all five of Temple's points. Wyatt dribbles out. Now to Hollis Jefferson up with the shot. It is good. And one coming. Wyatt open for a three on the way. It's long. Hollis Jefferson, though, with the footback with two seconds left. And there's the horn ending the first half, and Temple goes to the locker room, 35-27. Here's Wyatt in the lane. The runner got away with a push-off and scored it for Khalif Wyatt. Owls by 20. McBill on the lob down low. Gaston can't control. Now he gets it. Up with the shot. A block the fourth of the night by Michael Eric. Is that Michael Eric? Now a baseline dunk by Khalif Wyatt. Final couple seconds, and there's the final horn. Final score here at the Leah Chorus Center. Owls win it, 78-60. to The Above the Rim top play is brought to you by Kelly Sports. Wyatt on the left side. Starts to his right, gets a screen from Lee. Oh, look at the lob from Khalif Wyatt to Anthony Lee for the slam dunk. And the lead is up to 22 at 50 to 28. The above the rim top play has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. Now, now starting, starting our BWM Langhorn, Langhorn, the all new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at BW of Langhorne. The most class in its class with dual zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. BW of Langhorne on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. Run, don't walk to Kelly Sports to score big this season. Opening day is about to kick off, and our selection is a big hit. Our prices are too good to pass up, so get to Kelly Sports and check us out. We have all the latest styles from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. We can even customize them to fit your team's needs. Kelly Sports is ranked as a top 10 dealer in the nation by Sporting Goods Dealer Magazine. Located at Route 202 and Matlack Street in Westchester. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. At 16 and five overall in the season and five and two in conference, the Owls sit just half a game out of first place with nine games left in the regular season. With so many teams packed tightly near the top of the league, not a single game left is unimportant. It's a strange league at this point. It's uh, one of those leagues where anybody can win on any given night. So um, you can't take any opponent for granted. 
I, I don't know if there's any weak links. I think in a way that's good. You gotta, it'll help prepare us. We can't go into any game thinking that we're gonna win. We gotta really come prepared and make sure that uh, that we do what we have to do. And it's definitely strong as always. It's a little, it's a little out of order as far as like wins and losses. Everybody's winning and then everybody's losing in some games. But uh, I think at the end of the uh, league, it's gonna come down the same couple teams. Uh, Probably us, Xavier, Dayton, and uh, St. Louis and teams like that. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. There's a place where basketball still means something, where the game is all that matters. In this place, we take care of our own. Because we know we can't survive without each other. Here, work ethic has swagger. Here, reputation is earned, and false pretense has its throat cut. Under all, are you from here? Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. Here comes Nick Pendergast, Jimmy Mack, Jimmy McDonald's on, and Jake Godino, much to the delight of the student section, getting ready to come on. Jake looks to penetrate. Jake pulls back out, 15 footer on the way. You said he could shoot, John. You said it. Fernandez goes to the foul line, hopes a pass. Jimmy McDonald for a jumper. It's good. Jimmy Mack. Dribbles into the front court. Here's Will. Lays it up. Nick Pendergrass with the sky jump dunk by Big Nick. The old Nick. Look at it. Look at Ramon Moore. He was like 10 feet out on the court. On the next episode of Temple Basketball Above the Rim, it's the stretch run of Atlantic 10 games. Temple works to finish near the top of the conference and put themselves in good position to win the A-10 tournament. Temple basketball above the rim has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.